Filmora 14 AI features. Hey guys, this is Shayan from InkaiAcademy.com and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to reveal over 20 plus Filmora AI features that can help you to actually edit quicker, smarter and better. Now the Filmora 14 AI features have many things sorted out and it can really help you if you are an editor or a content creator. Now my personal favorite is the number 16 one but all of them pretty much I use daily in so that being said, without further ado, let's jump over to my laptop and let's start. But before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet, my friend, then please go ahead and do that. Because in this very channel, you get this kind of AI videos that can help you to grow faster, quicker and help you to grow in a smarter way. So that being said, without further ado, let's jump over to my laptop and let's start. So I hope that you have your Filmora installed. If not, you can find a link below in the description of Filmora 14. You can just click on that and you do also get a few bonuses from us as well. So that being said, once you have got it installed, this should look something like this. And in here, you have a thing called the toolbox. As you can see, just click on that and this will take you to the AI palette. You can see there are plenty of AI features and don't worry, I'm going to reveal them all. So the first one of them is called audio to video as you can see and you can click over here and this is very useful if you want to create videos from your podcast or if you have a long video you can actually create multiple shots from that as well using the audio that you have and it will create brand new clips for it right. So in here what you can do is that you can upload your own audio or video file and in here you can upload your own youtube video as well so let's go ahead and upload one so here you can see i have a little story video over here so let's go ahead and actually upload it and as you can see it has been uploaded over here now you can go ahead and choose the language so it's in english and then you can choose the story type depending on the content of the video so it's a story so i'll select story next we have the ratio that is a vertical video or a horizontal one or a square one that's up to you then the duration you can select any duration that you want to but i am selecting 30 to 60 seconds the next thing that we can do over here is that we can select the video style now on the video style i am going to choose 3d cartoon or i can choose anime or i can choose auto as well wherein the ai will decide which visuals go best with the audio now once this is done, I'll come down over here and in here you have a character image wherein you can replace these characters that appear in the video with your personalized image or any character that you want to. So that's quite cool as well. The next thing that we have is the templates and in here, you, as you can see, there are plenty of templates available. So I'm going to choose this one because this is more on the tails and once this is done, I'll click on generate. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it's directing the languages, then it's uploading the audio files and then it would be generating the video content. So let's wait and boom, there you can see it has been created over here. So let's go ahead and play this. All right. Now let's have our dinner and go to sleep. So, the three of them made the stable their home for the night. The next morning, they awoke early. Look at this. It's amazing, right? You can see every scene has a uh, corresponding character, has a corresponding uh, background. And uh, on the morning scene, it's a morning scene. So, you can see. Early and detailed. got ready to resume their journey. Come on, Nora. We have to leave. Come and Father. What was that? Look! Did our mayor give birth to a foal last night? Had your mayor given birth to... You can see it's amazing. It has the captions as well. So all of that was done for us. Nothing to edit, nothing to repurpose. It's all point and click and boom, you are done, right? Now, the best part over here is that you can actually go ahead and export this directly as well, right? From here, click on export. And you can export it directly into YouTube, TikTok, Vimeo, or you can directly export it into a local drive as well. Or what you can do is that alternatively, you can click on edit and you can take it to your favorite Filmora editor itself. As you can see, it has loaded over here and you can edit it in the way you like to. You can add things to it. You can delete things from it. You can cut, you can create, you can add different other things to it as well. You can add objects to it. You can 
do whatever with it you like to so that's how powerful this thing is and as you can what see over here what an exciting place to spin is a real real game changer now you can actually go ahead and repurpose your videos into any short form videos and then you can upload it on instagram stories you can upload it on youtube shorts you can upload it on your facebook wherever you wish to so i really hope that you are enjoying now just one we are still to cover a brand new ai feature so i really hope that you have liked it if you have help with like and let's head over to the next ai feature so the next ai feature that we have is called the smart short clips and in here what you can do is that you can actually convert a long form video into multiple short form videos just like opus clips does right so let's go ahead and click on this and in here we just need to drag and upload our file or we can again paste our youtube video link as well so let's go here and let's upload one of the videos that we have and as you can see i have uploaded the video over here and this is the video that we have right and then in here you can see you can select the language of your video then you can go ahead and select the duration of the clips that you want so i want 30 to 60 second clips then the theme i can choose video podcast gaming and sports marketing educational videos commentary videos so this is the educational videos so i'll select that and then in here i can also choose a main topic you can see i can just turn this on and in here i can highlight which part of the video i mostly want right so that is also doable now that being said on the advanced section you can find these are the templates that we have you can go ahead and choose any of these so let's go ahead and choose uh, maybe this one now once we are done with all of these we can just go ahead and click on generate so as you can see six results have been generated so you can choose your favorite one to export now you can see over here six results have been generated and you also get this code over here right you can see all of these coming up so that's quite an amazing stuff to have now as you can see it always detects the speaker over here you can see the ai is quite a uh, good efficient in this and if we go ahead and play this top every time you learn so something here is the new. final output let's get on with the clean ai tutorial and let's so you can see it's creating a double layered kind of approach where it's showing the screen and then it's showing the speaker as well so that's quite great and I believe Opus Clip is one of the best in terms of this, but still you are being able to do this. And if you need, you can actually go ahead and edit this as well. Just click on edit and this will take you to the screen over here. And as you can see, there are some split screen going on. You can see over here, this is the split screen that I was talking. So it has two screens over here, the top one, and then there's the bottom one as well. So you can see, you can actually go around and play around with this as well. So that's quite a great thing to have. So this is one of the best way to convert a long form video into many short form videos, and you can actually upload them wherever you wish to. So that being said, now let's head over to the next AI feature that we have. Now the next one that we have is called the smart scene cut now as soon as you move your mouse over here you would see what exactly this feature is about right so let's go ahead and click on this and this actually requires you to include a video so let's go ahead and do that so as you can see it has given this and it is giving me this cursor as well now i need to select the objects that i want right so let's just go ahead and select this object just for an example and click on save and as you can see it has been appeared over here now for the next one let's pick up this bulb let us completely enclose it right done so click on save and as you can see it has come up so in the same way you can go ahead and uh, actually pick up anything that you wish to say for example i want this one as well so let's go ahead and do this on save and boom you can see it has come up right so now what this will do is that it will automatically identify these objects within my video and highlight it right so if we go over and click on start you can see it's doing the thing so let's wait so the next ai feature that we have is video enhancer and this can help you to fix your videos which have a little shakingness or uh, which are a little uh, lower in terms of resolution right as you can see over here this video footage if i play it check this out you can see it it is quite good but i can go ahead and stabilize it even more right you can see i have just turned this 
stabilizing on you can find this you just need to select the video and then over the video you need to go over to video tools and then ai tools and from there you can turn on the smoothness right now let's play this and you can see it's much smoother now in the similar way you can video denoise as well sometimes what happens is that when we are uh, shooting in low light or maybe our hands are uh, just uh, shaking a bit in those cases there can be a little noise on the video so you can just turn this on to eliminate any noise in the video so you can see that right so it's quite happening over here so in this way you can actually remove any kind of shakiness or dizziness that you have in your videos now as you can see the denoise has been also done so let's play this and you can see it's a nice smooth little video that we have as an end result right so that's what this ai enhancer does Now the next tool that we have is AI idea to video. Now this is an extremely good one. You can compare it with the lights of magic light or cling wherein you can briefly describe your idea over here and it goes ahead and generates the video for you. So let's do, let's try this. So I've given a prompt like a young boy aged 12 years traveling through a dense jungle uh, of, discovers an old mansion which looks ghostly, right? And then in here you can uh, give the duration of the video, say 10 to 20 seconds then the video language and then the video style over here you can see there are plenty of styles that are available so you can go ahead and choose any of them i'm choosing realistic and then let's go ahead and click on launch ai script and boom as you can see it has created the scenes you can see scene one then you can see scene two then you can see scene three scene four and then it has also gone ahead and given a character now for the character you can upload your image or you can leave it up to AI for generating the character. Then on the settings, you can go ahead and find the video enhancement setting, the aspect ratio, you can do a vertical or a horizontal video. And then you can also find the voice over artist as well. All of that pretty much done for you. Now also on all of these scenes, you have the option of uploading image. If you want to, you can upload the image or the AI would generate it for you as well. And if you want to edit any of these scenes, you can just click on over here and you can edit it from here. So that's up to you. You can edit the prompt that will be used to create the visuals. You can edit the subtitles over here and you can also edit the sound effects as well so all of that is done for you right now once all of these are done let's go ahead and generate this so let's go ahead and click on generate and as you can see it's generating the video for us so let's wait and look at this this is mind-blowing just let us play this jake's summer adventure begins deep in the jungle inside eerie noises and shadows greet him Jake uncovers secrets about the mansion's past. Emerging into sunlight, he feels relief and triumph. You can see that the character was consistent, the movements followed physics, and the best part, there was sound effects as well, there was voiceover as well, all of that done for you. So that's how cool this can be, and that's how easy it can be to create this kind of animated AI videos just with the help of an idea with Filmora 14. So now it's time for us to move over to the next AI feature. Now this one is image to video as you can see over here. So let's click on here. And this is one of the most prominent features in Filmora 14 because it has all these done for you prompts. You don't need to write anything. It's already done. Like you can see AI kiss, French kiss. Then if you go down over here, you can see hug your love, live memory, photo rebirth so all of these are already done for you you can just put up your photos and you can see the magic over here so you can see there are plenty of them turning you into zombie turning you into cute faces animal faces so all of that is available now it would depend on exactly what your needs are say for example i want to be like this angel cupid so just click on over here and then you need to drag and drop your photo over here so let's quickly do that so in here let's upload this picture over here so as you can see this is the picture now let's click on submit and let's generate this and boom as you can see there you go so it is generating it 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 has a little morphing going on but then you most of the part it's quite stable as you can see over here up to this part it was quite stable right 
Now, in here, you can also see I created this little kissing image, uh, this little hard video as well. And you can see this one is not that good, but this one was pretty amazing, I must say. And then this one was also generated. This one was my avatar of a spy version, as you can see. And this again comes with a brilliant, brilliant stabilization. So that being said, you can even go ahead and use your custom prompt on this as well. So if you want to, you can just come over here and click on image to video. And then in here, you can actually go ahead and select this custom here. And in here, you can give any prompt that you want to and you can create your customized image to video as well so that was this feature right now let's head over to the next ai feature